<laughs> this young boy, whose parents don't want him identified, had until recently been suffering from a rare genetic skin disease that left him covered with open sores and blisters. He had a lot of pain, and he had me asked, or he had a lot of questions. I couldn't answer at the time. For example, why did I have this disease? His doctors say they had no options left until the boy's parents urged them to consider experimental gene therapy. So then we thought we could do nothing for this kid and opted for a palliative care approach. We discussed it with the family and they begged us to do something about it or to try anything we could. And then we um, got in contact with Professor De Luca and we discussed this case and he offered us to, to give us skin to cover the whole body of this kid. Italian physician Michel De Luca's therapy was still in the experimental phase, but he agreed to try it as a therapy of last resort for the boy. The medical team in Germany tried anything they could do to help this child, but there were no real possibilities. The father started researching on the internet, and he spoke about it with the surgeons. The surgeons had never dealt with genetic therapy, but when they saw that experiments were being carried out, they contacted me to ask if we could try it as a compassionate act. DeLuca's team took a small patch of unaffected skin from the boy, inserted a healthy version of the gene that caused the disease, and then grew a square meter of skin for the boy. They grafted this new skin onto the boy in three different operations, beginning in early 2016. Already he was better after the first transplant on the forelimbs in October. Then after the second transplant, the bigger one on his back, the regeneration of the skin did something to the boy. He got better right away. His vital parameters were getting better, and that's when we realized that we had done it. It worked. <laughs> no, we, we're happy that it worked. This kid is back to his normal life again. That's what we dreamed of doing, and it was possible, so it's fun. From the edge of death to a normal life, two years later the boy is back in school, off medication, and living a completely normal life. But his team of doctors will have to monitor him closely over time to watch for skin cancer or any other complications. Kevin Enix, VOA News.